Do you want to see yourself? <laughs> you will see that at the end of the video. So we're doing another loop. And before I do that, I want to go over these three books that I have written. They are called Friendship Journals, and each one just has unique questions. I'm in four different sections in each one that has questions that are to get to know each other really well, and then also questions about um, your friendship, like specifically. And an example would be, how are we similar? And then you would write it down. And so there are three of them. There is a link in the description below if you think that would be something interesting or if you know someone that would be interested in it. All right, so we are doing the ESFJ. And I'm an intuitive person talking about sensory things. This will be interesting. But there's actually some things in here I think I can connect to. So their function stack is extroverted feeling, introverted sensing, extroverted intuition, and introverted thinking. Um, so I just realized ESFJs are the complete backwards of INTPs. That's funny. All right, so just going over loops. Loops are when we're starting to feel pressure and we're no longer utilizing our, our normal functions, which are just the first and second one. They go together and we use all four, but um, the first and second ones are kind of how we basically interact with the world. And so when we start feeling pressure, we're now utilizing the first and the third function, and they're going to both be the same extroverted or introverted um, functioning. And so that causes a new perspective and some interesting outlooks. But if you get stuck in it, you actually start become obsessive over different things, and it's really hard to get out. And so I want to be describing what the loop looks like for the ESFJ and what some things could help um, to get through that loop. And so they become obsessed with meeting like every need around them. These people are extremely like servant driven <laughs> and which is very kind and thoughtful and wonderful about them. They start to obsess over every perceived want or need from people that are close and people just that are around them. And they feel like that they have to meet every single need um, because the world is that something in them believes that something is going to go wrong and that people are going to be disappointed in them. And they really do try to foresee the future of how to please the people around them. And this is a mixture of extroverted feeling and extroverted intuition, because with extroverted feeling, it is driven by um, fulfilling the needs around and creating a, like a, a better environment and servicing people around you. And extroverted intuition is, is a, like the possibilities that could happen because of a certain situation or given outcome. And so driven by this desire to fulfill needs and create community, <clears throat> they are not filtering that out through their introverted sensing, which um, is actually how to internalize certain events in, uh, in their lives. But now they're going through extroverted intuition, so they're just being bombarded by all of these possibilities, and their extroverted feeling can't quite keep up with it or can't be refined well enough and have direction. And so that's where the second function really comes into play. It gives direction to the first function. And so a way to help get out of this loop, and it's not a way to solve it because we always have to address why we're going into this loop to begin with, but a way to help is to stimulate the introverted sensing. They need to self-reflect. They need to remember habits that brought them comfort and understanding and remembering actions that made them most proficient and that are very practical for them. And this is what introverted sensing really does. It it's, goes back to tradition and things that are dependable and what have happened. So the ESFJ does need to pull back and stop feeling like they need to serve everyone around them because they're going to burn themselves out and they're basically inverting themselves. They need to recoil and give some self-reflection, think about the past, think about what they know is steady and good, and... Um, rebuild their framework and not have themselves fall into a constant repetition of being at the mercy of other people's expectations or needs or wants. And they may need a friend to really help them keep them accountable in that way because it's really easy to come back to those loops when we're not able to climb out of what's dragging us into that loop to begin with. 
So hopefully that is a helpful start. And anyone who is an ESFJ, I would love to see your comments below and just to share your experiences. How did you work through some of the things that may or may not be expressed in this video? And I will see you guys in another video or another life. You never know. Don't forget the books. I would love to have uh, your support. And I hope that these also are helpful for building better relationships. Link in the description. Peace. And here is the results from earlier. Look at you guys. You look fantastic.